GWS take on Port Adelaide at NG. They're finally back there. It's been a while, I'm pretty sure. Never played at NG, apparently. Uh, oh. Seven and a half point favourites are GWS. Actually, break down their schedule stats, boy, and see where they've played. Because well, NG's just there, the showgrounds one. It was getting yes. uh, redone, and then there was a few other events there. The showgrounds? I think they've... Where, have, where else have they played that? They surely have played there. It's a really good question. I'm getting I'm They've confused been playing now. around a few players. I've got to make they sure they played a actually... lot at Canberra. So actually, they might have played a lot less home games because of that. That that I'm pretty sure from memory we talked about that at the start of the season, from uh, yeah one of our previous shows. Good chat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What was their last? So their last home game was. Well, they played Sydney Showground. Yeah, surely that's the. Ground. They played there against the, uh, the dogs, dogs three weeks ago. Yeah, I so, saw the same thing. Maybe this is the first time it's been called NG Stadium. No, they've been. It's been called NG oh. before that because well, they played the Roos there back in March. I don't know what March. that's about. I don't know what that, that's about. Uh, so it's been a while. So they played their March 16 and then didn't play there okay, it's again been about a month. until they played the dogs there at the end of May. So there was a break there for the show and okay. stuff like that. Yep. Um, but they're there now. They then play the Swans there the week after. Yep. And it's like it's okay. they, they play the Blues there oh, in July. They've got enough home so games. That's settle right. down stats, man. <laughs> I just thought they hadn't played there much. The big question here is like the over under is 169 and a half, which feels wonky because you never know with this is basically. Giants have been horrible on offense. This is it. Let's have a look at it. It's the battle of the frauds. It is. But Jim, Port Adelaide are like pretty good, aren't they? No. Not, not since the start of the season. They're fourth. They're eight and four. But what are they? What Fly are them. they really? <laughs> no one really knows. Fraud Adelaide. So fraud Adelaide, in terms of the ins and outs for this game, uh, Jack Buckley, Josh Kelly, and Max Grzyowski. That's a great name. Uh, making his debut. Very cool. But that's massive for Jack Buckley. Josh Kelly for their structure. Yeah, they're, they're both really, really good the players. Port, C. Rosie comes back. Ollie Lord, Dylan Ooh. Williams, Will Lorenz, Don <laughs> Tevis and Thinney, and Quinton, Na- Quinton Knuckle. That's uh, fucking Knuckle. Charlie Dixon dropped. Jeremy oh, what the Finlayson hell? He actually was dropped. Dropped. Ryan Burton injured. Uh, so Lorenz make his de- makes Jeez. his debut. Ken Inkley's just uh, brought this thought out. It's so, probably worth it because, I don't know, they were. They've both been horrible, but. They would not have expected that. They're two big forwards they've relied on probably the last four years. But you've got to make the big calls if you've been really bad. So I don't mind that from Ken. If you've swinging, been really swing, bad. Swinging, swinging the axe. Why not? So Port got rolled by the Blues and then have had the week off, I want to say. Yes. yes correct. Because uh, they had the – it was they and Frio had the bye last week. So it's a really, it's a really strange setup, right, with Port because you just don't know what to think of them after that mm. handling by Carlton – uh, they beat the Ruse before yeah, that. Hawks. They snuck by the Hawks in that stupid game. They beat the Cats in GMHBA. Lost so, the showdown. They're so inconsistent. Are they yeah. good? We don't Who know. Knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All right. You got some stats for us, stats, man? Uh, yeah, why not? Underdog has won last four GWS games. So if they if they are underdog, they can win. So, But they're not. So I, <laughs> the, the, the other stats, Port are going to win this. Uh, but the Power have won four of the last five meetings. Uh, the other one is each of GWS's... Uh, I was going to say, I think it's last four games have gone under the total points. They've, their offense has been horrible. They haven't kicked over 80 points. I think it's the last six games. They, whereas at the start, you were banking them in for 100 plus for the first five games. So Easy. I don't know what's going on with them. Jesse Hogan's out of form. They need him to fire up to, for them to win this game, I think. So GWS won this last time they played last year, 93-70. Mm-hmm. That would have been a final. Yes, it was. It was. That was uh, a great, great game at Adelaide Oval. Yeah. That's right. And they smashed them. Port smashed them prior to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Port deleted them prior to that as well. Smoked them before that. <laughs> beat the Sands out of them before that. Yeah, so yeah. they've, they've actually won form, four of the last five. Yep. But this is a Port team that goes back to 2020 now. Mm-hmm. So they're not they're playing a very that different often, team right? right so now. it's a very strange setup. I am tempted to go Port. Ooh. Even with. The changes, but yeah, they got Rosie back. Because the big question is, are GWS's woes just injury related? No. Or is it something deeper? Is it something more structural? Because you look at yeah. the way that Hogan, yeah. Toby Green and stuff, have like Riccardi. Callum Brown. Callum everyone Brown. was saying he's the best player in the comp at the start. Of the year. And you look at their midfield, right? As soon as Caniglio and Josh Kelly have sort of dis- disappeared to injuries and stuff, mm. Tom Green has fallen off a cliff. Yeah. Kelly comes back. Cool. Does that That's help? Handy. Yeah, it does. And so twice. Been a lot of these little bits and bobs. The question for me just remains, can they actually stand up? Sam Taylor's there, Whitfield. They should be too good. I'm still going to go with GWS. This might be the last time I trust them. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Like, this is a big test. Yeah. I'll How are, are, are they, they the now? It's the battle of the frauds. Whoever yeah. loses this game 
You are tarred with fraud. like <laughs> absolute fraud. We're yeah. going to like tar and feather you with fraud across your name. Simple yep. as that. Seems fair. So I'm going GWS by 18. GWS by 18. I'm going to go GWS by six. Like we said, they, we just don't know what we're going to get from these two teams. I think Cali's a massive in. I think Buckley's a massive in. At home, they'll be fired up. The Orange Army. The Orange Tsunami will be back. I think they're going to win by six points.